This is weird. Crayons? I'm not expecting crayons. That's not what I was expecting because that's not what I ordered. Hi everyone, welcome to my first review ever. In this video, I will share the unboxing and review of the Mossery Sibling Acryla Gouache Art Kit. This art kit can be found on Mossery's website and it exists in two versions. Sibylline Minet is a French freelance illustrator whose artwork mostly features girls with animals using beautiful color palettes and clean lines. Her creations are fun and whimsical with a great sense of composition, and they are very inspiring. I wanted to try her art kit for a while now, but as it is very expensive, I saved up money and bought it as my Christmas gift. Here is the footage of my unboxing. This video is sponsored by me, myself, and I. I paid for it. <laughs> can slip? Yes, I can. Because I don't want. Okay. And even though I saw this one on many um, unboxing videos, I can tell you in real real life, it's even better. The colors are really, really nice. And then in the back, there's this. Okay. Cool. This would be a nice bookmarker. Okay, now let's get into things. So first, there's this. And then there's this part. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'm going to start with this one and then this one after. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is weird. Crayons? Okay. I definitely am not expecting crayons. Why am I having crayons? Um. <laughs> okay, I I got um I have that. <laughs> I have <laughs> This is this is weird and I have watercolor. That's not what I was Expecting because that's not what I ordered. I ordered acrylic gouache because I wanted to try and I get watercolors. Um, don't get me wrong. I love watercolors and, and I was planning to buy some of these, but, um, yeah, that's, I think they messed up. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Um, waiting that long and I'm not having they messed up the kit it, this is not that's the watercolor kit <laughs> what the hell is this <laughs> well no surprise it's a surprise <laughs> okay I, I guess I'm gonna have to tell them that that they messed up well, those, I'm, you know, I wanted to try Holbein watercolors, so uh, this is good. Um, but I guess just in case I won't use anything for now, <laughs> because I'm going to report this. This is funny <laughs> for my first unboxing, <laughs> like <laughs> really funny. <laughs> my God, Th that only could happen to me. <laughs> I wanted to try acrylic gouache so bad. And yeah. Okay. 
So um, this is, I guess, the palette. Yeah, the I do have one, but uh, this one looks bigger. Uh, yes, huh, let me check. Take the other one, mine. Yeah, you can see mine, Mosri, and Mosri's has this this one. So yeah, it's way bigger, and oh, I like it. Um, there's more space here for, for things than this one, but um, yeah, okay, so um, <laughs> that was the first surprise, <laughs> let me see, maybe they sent me the wrong one, <laughs> because maybe here, this is not my name, <laughs> and they sent mine to somebody else, let's find out, <laughs> would they at least get the name right okay well at least <laughs> it's the Sibylline gouache practice workbook except that i don't have the <laughs> the aquila gouache <laughs> oh my god <laughs> bye <laughs> okay and i'll check out this later uh now oh nice oh it's my name <laughs> for a moment i had my <laughs> doubt <laughs> Okay, <laughs> be brave, thank you, <laughs> from Win Malaysia, I will. <laughs> um, oh, it's beautiful, really, really beautiful. Oh. There is. So, uh, if you don't know, there were four different ones to choose from, and... Um, I really didn't know which one to choose. I chose this one because of the foxes. I love foxes. But uh, honestly, uh, I was really hesitating. Um, and uh, so this is supposed to be watercolor paper. So, well, that's good. I have watercolors here. <laughs> and um, yeah. Um, We'll try, we'll see it. It looks like it's cold press and um, well, there's mixed reviews apparently from uh, what I've heard about this watercolor paper, at least with watercolors, uh, but you know, you'll see, uh, I'll see anyways, this is going to be a practice uh, sketchbook, so we'll see. And <laughs> I wanted to try <laughs> acrylic gouache with this. But uh, for now, I won't be able <laughs> to do it. Um, <laughs> I wanted to try so bad. <laughs> Come on. Okay, but let's check this other thing here. Um, so this is the, the um, practice workbook, as you can see. And... Um, it gives you very, uh, you know, some directions, but don't expect too much either. Uh, because with this, you practice on this. As you can see, there is a pre-printed uh, drawings from uh, Sibylline. And, um, well, when you have the acryl gouache, <laughs> you usually paint <laughs> these <laughs> and um, this is for to do the swatching um, but uh, yeah I guess I will do a demo uh, when I get my acryla gouache I, but uh, yeah let's check out this otherwise everything is very cute and uh, very well you know done with care um, those little smiley stickers are very cute and it's nice to have a smile Hold up. okay aha so those are the little postcards with envelope so there is two kits of Sibylline um, version 1 and version 2 and I chose version 1 because the, the um, art that came with it was with uh, usually a girl with an animal and as I love animals um, 
that's why I took this. And those are the stickers. I don't know yet where I'm gonna put them, but I will put them somewhere. I love stickers. Oh, they're so pretty. Pretty, pretty. And ooh, those are very nice. Yeah. I love this one a lot. This one is nice, but this is more my type of colors. Uh, I like vibrant colors. But um, yeah, it's really cute. Okay, sorry for this very messy unboxing video. <laughs> but as you can see, I, I th beginning of the video, I'm like, I know what there is in this box. I've watched many unboxing videos and, <laughs> and I don't get what I thought I, I was going to get. So I think that's it for, for now because I cannot even do the demo um, stay updated um, I will probably uh, publish this uh, video when I have the whole thing and I can do the demo and um, <laughs> uh, this will be a bonus <laughs> of my surprise when I found out that what the hell? This is not what I ordered. <laughs> so I guess, you know, <sighs> talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I just received uh, my package from Mosley. Um, since the art supplies were wrong, I contacted them and they sent me this package. I've just opened the, this and that's all I've done. So let's now check if this time they sent me the correct supply. Um, Okay, it is, it's early in the morning, I need to go to work, but I couldn't wait. I think it's the correct one now, I can feel it. <laughs> There's no color pencils and... Okay, let's start with this one. Yeah, finally! Perfect, so we have deep yellow, light apricot, shell pink, vermilion, light blue, ultramarine deep, blue green, Burnt Sienna, Primary Black, and Titanium White. Okay, so good. Now let's see this part. Okay, good. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, forgot how you call that. Uh, I call that Criterium in French. <laughs> um... I have many of those um, because this is my favorite, uh, uh, um, one of my favorite art supplies ever. I love drawing with those. Um, it's uh, I like taking that with me everywhere. So um, I'm happy to have another one. Plus, it looks really, really nice. Then we have three brushes oh yeah oh i love the the filling it's feels really really nice so this is a filbert number eight this is a round brush number two and a round brush number zero and I'm gonna love this one. I love tiny brushes. 
I'm excited to try those brushes. Velvet Touch. Wow, they really are Velvet Touch. I love the, the filling. Then, you know, the classical Stedler Mars Plastic. Uh, everybody has this one, and I'm no exception. <laughs> I do have, but um, I always like um, to have erasers around. So, uh, then we have, uh, of course, uh, 0.5 uh, HP which is the standard um, and finally the mint um, masking tape or washi washi tape if you want so now i got everything that i ordered which means i'm gonna be able to do the demonstration so um let's see you with a demo, I'll do an original piece inspired by the art of Sibylline Mene. As this kit was curated by Sibylline, I wanted my demo painting to be inspired by her art. One thing that characterizes her style is that she tends to paint girls with an animal companion. That is why I chose a simplified drawing of my avatar with my late English Bulldog as I thought it would match her aesthetics. As it's the first time I paint with acrylic gouache, I watched a couple of Sibylline's videos to study her method of painting with it and from what I gathered, the first step she does is to outline in black parts of her drawing because this medium is quite opaque and without it, the sketch disappears under the paint layer. The black outline is visible under the first layers. Once the outline is done, step two seems to be applying flat layers of the local color. Acrylic gouache being quite opaque, one layer is usually enough for the base color. Colors are very vibrant, so I was very pleased with that. As I am on the subject, some important things to know about this medium. This is not gouache, contrary to what the name makes it seem. It is acrylic gouache, which means that it has the properties of acrylic paint, but with a matte finish, just like gouache. And what are the properties of acrylic paint versus gouache, might you ask? Well, both mediums can be used with water, and they are both opaque. The biggest difference between both lies in the fact that acrylic paint, or in this case, acrylic gouache, does not reactivate with water once it's dry. So, this is good when you want to apply several layers of paint without reactivating the layers underneath. At the same time, if you are used to a paint that reactivates like watercolor or gouache, this property of acrylic paint or acrylic gouache can be a hindrance for you. Also, when working with acrylic gouache, you have to keep in mind that the paint dries extremely quickly and then you cannot reuse the paint that you put on the side because once it's dry, it's dry. So you need to be very careful with amount management, I would say. I squeezed out a very little amount of paint and if I did some color mixes, I tried to calculate how much I would need so I could do it quickly without it drying because once it's dry, it's very difficult to manage to get the exact same color. This is the difficulty of this type of paint, color mixing. This is why swatching beforehand is quite important. I did swatch the colors and created a color wheel so I could have a good idea of the amounts of paint needed for my mixes. I used the swatching space found on Sibylline's workbook because I wanted to be able to at least have an idea of which colors I was going to use so I could plan ahead. To be honest, I did not work on Sibylline's workbook that much because this paint is quite expensive and I had to make it come from far away, so I want to keep most of it for my original paintings more than just practice with something else. But it's good to have at least a booklet 
because it provides some insights as I have never used acrylic gouache. Although acrylic gouache was not very difficult for me as I have used acrylic paint extensively in the past and they are extremely similar, minus the shiny finish. I already have a good grasp of painting with acrylic paint, so this was quite fun. Regarding my opinion on the kit, what I liked. I think my favorite art supply in this kit was the Princeton Velvet brushes. I love them. I love the texture of them and they were perfect for acrylic gouache. I think I'm going to look online to find more brushes of this kind. I do have a lot of brushes but I really enjoy those. What else? Um, I like the ceramic palette. Even though I do have another very similar ceramic palette, the size of this one was actually really good. It was the perfect size, the wells were bigger and flatter than mine and I noticed that I automatically reached for this one rather than my original palette. I also loved anything related to Sibeline's art in this kit. That was one of the main reasons why I got this pack along with the acrylic gouache that I wanted to try out. What I need more time to assess? Mm, even though I had a lot of fun with acrylic gouache, one small painting is not enough for me to have a good grasp and opinion about this paint. I have a very good first impression though. Regarding the Mossery watercolor sketchbook, I can say that with acrylic gouache it worked really well. I prefer hot press paper but don't mind cold press for small paintings and for practice. However, I will not say if it's good for watercolor as I need to test it out. I will do a follow-up video to try out the Holbein watercolors that I got for free, following Mossery's mistake. This way, I will be able to see if I like the sketchbook for watercolor paintings. Finally, I want to say that this is a very expensive kit, so this is definitely not for everybody. That's why I wanted to show everything that it has. If you have the means, it's up to you to decide if you want to spend that much money on it. I would say that if you do not care about Sibeline's art and just want to try acrylic gouache, then you can directly buy the paint without the rest. The workbook does not provide enough information to be extremely valuable. I think experimenting with the paint on your own can be just as effective. However, I do not regret getting this kit. I feel very happy that I was able to get it as it is a very comprehensive and pretty art kit. Okay, I hope that you liked my chaotic unboxing and demo and that you've got some useful information out of this. But if you have any additional questions, you can ask them in the comment section. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me. If you did, let me know by liking this video. And if you want to see more of my creations, subscribe. I wish you a nice day, night. Whatever the time you're watching this, if you're watching this until the end. Thank you for watching.